Hulk Shoes. Recorded live. Hello, Frank. Terry? Hi, Terry. Yes, hi. Sorry about that. The system was ringing busy and busy and busy. Oh, not letting the uh, call come through. So now we're good. Um, all right. We're here for uh, our University of Acadia introductory call and update call. We have Franco Collins from Australia with us online and uh Frank are you ready to take it away and uh do a um summary of what we're gonna talk about tonight? Yeah absolutely. Okay, great. Look I apologize I thanks Terry. I apologize to everyone for the technical difficulties. Um we'll try in future but it's it's difficult because the technology is what it is and there are obviously another number of other shows and we're beholden on the the service and talk show is a wonderful service so I'm very grateful that we can use this as a medium and we'll see how we go next week but 9 p.m. normally is the start time so thank you all and for those that are listening welcome tonight there are a number of important updates and changes that have taken place on the one-heaven.org website since uh, we spoke last Thursday and I want to go through a number of those with you and they include updates to the information on the ecclesiastical deed polls and how to use them. There are a number of important updates actually on the covenant itself, in particular about unlawful slavery, about gold, about the um, concept of not just life-born records but a concept called death-born records, which I'd like to explain to you. And we have tonight uh, the opportunity to share with you the example of Great Ritz, and there have been a number of updates on Great Ritz. And then I also want to talk a couple of things um, with you as well, because I know that as more of you read, as more of you chat, there is always going to be certain friction. And so I want to cover an issue of competence and respect, particularly when you want to use the forums on the UK University, and that's uh, uh, university.ucadia.info http university.ucadia.info as well as the issue when you're facing on blogs or anywhere and people are saying things like uh, Ucadia's a cult or, or Franco Collins thinks he's a messiah or any of these kind of throwaway, easy to throw away lines so I want to show you that we actually have some FAQ questions now that talk about some of the biggest lies that people say and how you might be able to just simply copy some of these out and post them in a blog if you're dealing with someone who is making some smart-ass remark. So with that, just we, we've got some important things to go through, updates to the EDP notes, um, some important updates to the covenant uh, on unlawful slavery, gold, on this concept of the life-born record uh, and the concept of the death-born record, uh, the Great Red examples, and the um, important thing of chatting about knowledge, respect, and also answering some of the FAQ type questions, which we might actually start with. Uh, I think it's probably a good one to start with, if we start with that. Now, in terms of the format tonight, I hope this is okay with you all, just the same sort of format. Because we started late, uh, it's going to be um, an hour from now to get through this outline of these updates. And then if everyone's okay, we'll allow for an hour and a half of questions. And please, if you can post your questions through the chat uh, or you can put yourself in queue so that Terry can see you, I hope to answer each and every question you have. Uh, last thing, if you've, got a, if you've got a statement you want to make, by all means, you know, if people want to make a statement, there's no problems. But please keep it short because the pers purpose of the Q&A is to really cover people's genuine questions. If you feel you want to make a statement, then please, that's why we have the blogs and we have the other forums, and you're always welcome to email and let me know the statement. All right. Um, so let's start with just a general housekeeping in terms of, of um, chat, knowledge, respect, and also handling some of these FAQ questions that people will be uh, facing uh, onwards. You know, what is Eucadia? What's it about? Uh, is it some nefarious thing? Is it some secret organization and whatever and I know these questions keep coming out so I want to help you in giving you straight honest answers to that and where you can go and find those so but first I want to talk about this issue of, of competence and respect 
it's really hard to come to a point to understand how to behave when so much of the information you're going through you have to keep filtering. And what I'm referring to is questions like um, coming to this knowledge with the scars of experiencing the system, coming to the, this knowledge with, with anger, or even coming to this knowledge with a degree of cynicism. Now, I understand what it's like to... Well, I don't understand, by the way, if, what it's like to have your children taken from you, as a number of you have had. I, don't, I, don't, I can't pretend to understand what it's like to lose a home after 20 years uh, or to be um, tracked like some wounded animal because uh, uh, there are warrants out for your arrest. I do, however understand some of the psychology that they have put us through to put us into this, and I use the word with the greatest respect, this mindset of victim. Now what I mean by mindset of victim, I mean is that we approach things from the perspective of our own sanity in deflecting anything that may be too abrasive to us. And so what we develop is we develop a thick skin, and a number of us in that process also develop a healthy cynicism in the way we approach things. Now, Eucadia is an open model. Eucadia is a structure, and as I've said in previous calls, and I explain again tonight, what is being worked on at the moment is a set of deeds and trusts that will convey rights and reconvey rights from the highest covenant down to local communities so that men and women can join together and reclaim their rights lawfully that have been taken from them. There is no assumed leadership that are arbitrarily judging you or making comments on you. If you use a service like the University of Eucadia, and because of just naturally how you have come to be, and you are deliberately disruptive, or you are deliberately aggressive towards others, then those behaviours are inexcusable by any means. They're not behaviours of honour and they're not behaviours of a competent. I understand them, but if you find that you are held to account for that, please don't think that this is Eucadia being, or anyone in Eucadia being a dictator. Instead, what I'd like to do is see that anyone that is angry or feels that they're not being expressed, that we can help everybody in in the context that I'm here for one year and by the end of this year all of you Katie will be conveyed to you now I'm not perfect we've done a lot of mis I've made a lot of mistakes in my life and I continue to make mistakes but I want to be absolutely clear for everyone li listening to the call and in particular I'm talking to those tonight that have found themselves uh, maybe booted off the Ucadia forum or angry or feeling that this is some kind of uh, dictatorship because they want to tell people to go to hell and that why can't they do that in a free forum? The answer is if you behave badly, then you hurt and impede other people's learning process. And because of that bad behavior, you may find yourself being taken off that. But it, in no way does that reflect that you are somehow isolated from this knowledge. It's not. So please, um, over time, there will be articles about the concept of victim mind and how to get through that, or the concept of angry mind or even parasite mind, where we say, hell with the world, I'm going to blow the whole world up. I really want to show and share that with you because everyone deserves an opportunity and everyone deserves to be heard. Now, as far as FAQ questions go, and I want to cover some things which are on the site and most of this will actually be on updates to the site. So O&E hyphen heaven, one hyphen heaven is the site that I'm going to ask you to go and have a look at. And before we get into updates on EDP, I just want to show you one section on FAQ, particularly when people are telling porky pies, lies about Eucadia. When you go onto the home page of uh, one hyphen heaven.org and you get to home, have a look under FAQ which is on the primary navigation at the top. When you click on that, make sure you re refresh the page. And at the top, you'll see 
two links for frequently asked questions, click here. And then for the 20 biggest lies against One Heaven in Acadia, click here. Now I'm going to click on the 20 biggest lies against One Heaven in Acadia just for the moment. And I'm not going to spend a long time on this. But I just want to show you this because you, you will encounter, and it's a natural fact, you will encounter people that for whatever reason, whether they are angry, whether they're unable to see things for what they are, that just throw things at you, either debate you, sap your energy, or just because they're being defensive. Please have a look at these. Have a look at these most common lies and have a look at how the responses might happen. So, for example, the top one is, UK is a cult. Well, you know, the, the first thing I'd say if you hear someone say this is to say, well, what do you mean by a cult? And of course, I'll be defensive or they'll say, you should know what I mean. Really, by asking someone to qualify what they mean, uh, they then have to hold to account by what measure they think this is a cult. And under, under the principle that cults are there to disinform, to promote incompetence, there is no rational, logical way anyone that can consider what we're doing, which is promoting comp competence, as being promoting a cult. And the fact that I'm getting out of the picture in a year's time to ensure that this knowledge is, is free of me and ensure this knowledge is a gift free of any other entity to you, then that is a completely disingenuous uh, throwaway line that you'll find people do. So by all means, cut and paste these, use these, refer to these. Uh, I won't go through any more there, but as I say, there are, they're not 20, but there are 16 of the most common lies and misinformation statements that people will make, and please feel free to refer to those whenever you encounter people who aren't prepared to read, who aren't prepared to listen, but are more than happy to give you some throwaway one-liner. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about some of the updates now uh, on the reference notes of ecclesiastical deed polls. So now I'm going to click back on the home button and I'm now going to click on the ecclesiastical deed poll box, the blue box there. Uh, explanation and I'm just going to ask you also to refresh the page again so you see the uh, updates there. Now a um, number of things that uh, have been updated. Uh, the registration of the IRS, the actual form for the EIN has not yet been uploaded but we have spent considerable time since last week discussing uh, the objections that have come through and I will say to you that over the next two days there will be an updated form on this uh, material that will provide a clearer definition of the EIN. Now I asked for your patience last week and I, and I hope and trust a number of you were patient in not downloading the form but the form is not yet up yet so I do apologize but what has been the major consideration over the last week on the EIN is this. The IRS, although it won't tell us exactly how they determine the validity or non-validity of a form in, as their internal procedures, so they'll give us official responses uh, in many cases, but they won't give us internal procedures. The fact remains that unless there is an entity already in their records, they find it impossible to register a new um, registration and given that our ecclesiastical deed poll is a perfected claim of right and our live born record is proof of superior title and ownership of certain property including our name it transpires that we should if we are wishing and showing uh, our, our willingness to assert our rights under our claim of right is in fact to reclaim our name. Now the original intention of the EIN was to distinguish your position as a member of One Heaven and as a trust recipient, as a trustee of a two trusts, a true trust and a divine trust, by presenting the name of the trust that is to be registered as trust number 